Do you begin with an opening statement? Well, just real proud of how they played tonight. Uh, you know, Coastal Carolina's an outstanding team. And, uh, you know, we didn't play particularly well over the weekend. So I really had question marks as to how we would respond tonight. We knew we were going to throw a couple guys out there who haven't pitched much. And I know not only myself, but the team is so happy for Cade Lamel, you know, to do what he did, to get his 10 outs in that game. I mean, that's that's huge. We're looking for another another pitcher. And I think we found one tonight. He kind of said it's been tough to just kind of manage the, you know, I don't know if I'm going to pitch and, and all of that. How, how much does that add to what he did tonight? Oh, I mean, he hasn't pitched since I, I can't even recall. You know, and he's only pitched two and a third innings all year. And he had an ERA of 43. I mean, those are numbers you just don't see at this time of year. And um, this is a really, really good offensive team. And he dominated. I mean, he dominated for three innings. He not only got outs, he got a lot of swing and misses. He got six strikeouts. He, he, you know what? It just shows, you know, what hard work does. You never know when your time's going to come. Nobody's ever questioned Cade's hard work. He's a hardworking guy. And I just hope this leads in a, a few more uh, positive uh, outings for him. You know, Cade was able to extend a lot of innings, and you shoot through their pen a lot, especially in the back half of that game. Do you think that gives you an advantage going to tomorrow that you only used, what, five pitchers, four pitchers? Yeah, you know, I, it, it does give us a, a chance tomorrow. You know, now we're still going to have to run a couple guys out there that haven't pitched much. But maybe somebody else can kind of duplicate what Cade did today. And, um, you know, we talked about it before the game. The key, I thought, was throwing strikes tonight. This is a good offensive team, but what we can't do is we can't add walks and hit by pitches onto what they're going to do with their hits. And we were able to at least kind of control that a little bit. I think we hit a couple guys and walked maybe three guys. But um, that was in his midweek game. So that's the, that's the game changer. Can you total that player? Walk, walk us through coming into the game. You hadn't yeah. pitched since the beginning of this month, and it, it, what was it like just being back out on the mound in, in that moment? Yeah, it's honestly funny uh, you ask because, um, you know, going into the night, I knew I was going to be the first out of the bullpen. And, um, they always say, like, play like it's your last game. And to be honest, going out there, like, I knew it might be – the way the season's gone, I knew it might be – uh, the last time I ever pitch, uh, being my senior year. So I honestly was just trying to have as much fun as possible no matter what happened. And hopefully I can keep that mindset going. That was your longest outing since like the beginning of last March or something yeah. like that. What clicked in, in that moment in particular? Um, I would say just like little mechanical adjustments and then just kind of some mindset things of uh, pitching to contact and I think I kind of have been missing that in the early part of the season and even last year I was just trying to throw for strikeouts and I know that my pitches move and they can induce ground balls so that was kind of the, the switches that I made. Defense behind you guys made some crazy yeah. plays tonight especially that yeah. you know you weren't out there with that eighth inning there were two of those diving counts. What does it mean to have those guys behind you? I mean they're great every game honestly. Um, just knowing that you have them behind you, um, even like mentally, um, most of the guys, like if a pitcher gets sped up, they're gonna come out to the mound and just tell you to slow down. So even that side of it too, I mean, I just can't say enough good things about them, so. You mentioned that you pitch a lot to ground balls. How does, does that help you specifically since you know that, you know, you have guys who are gonna scoop up everything that you can play your play style, you don't have to push for strikeouts? Yeah, honestly, if it wasn't a, if that wasn't the case, and maybe you'd think about switching up the, the mentality, but I mean, they make pretty much every play, so you can go ahead and do that.